हेलो एवरीवन इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द बेसिक मॉडलिंग प्रोसीजर व्हेन वी आर यूजिंग कंप्यूटर इन अ प्रोसेस कंट्रोल इन फर्स्ट यूनिट वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द बेसिक्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर एडेड प्रोसेस कंट्रोल इन सेकंड यूनिट वी हैव सीन द बेसिक्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन एंड नेटवर्किंग दैट हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू ट्रांसमिट द मेजर्ड डेटा ऑन द रिमोट लोकेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन प्रोटोकॉल्स एंड इन थर्ड यूनिट वी हैव सीन द how we can model the process how we can define the modeling procedure in this is the fourth unit in this we are going to study the basic advanced process control strategies advanced control strategies now in last unit we have seen the how we can define the process or how we can define or how we can model the any process on syst or a system now how we can control that process now for that we can use advanced process control strategy so this unit is basically based on adopting the control strategy according to the process behavior so first why we use advanced control strategy to guarantee the stability if we are having the output the output of any system should be stable or it should define or it should satisfy certain types of transient or steady state characteristics it should be robust in a performance or the process you follow should be efficient according to the process behavior or that should fulfill our desired criteria according to this we can apply the advanced process control strategies now that advantage of strategies is that advanced control process strategies is that we can apply this when the behavior of process is distributed or behavior of process is stochastic or behavior of any process is non linear or behavior of any process is time varying or the process or your system is subjected in certain types of disturbances so we need in that case we need advanced control strategy to stop those disturbances or stop the uh, effect of disturbances in our process output now so there are various type of advantage when we are using advanced control strategy in our process systems so these advantages are advantages are increase increased throughput increase product recovery energy conservation reduce disturbances reduce operating manpower and increase plant flexibility so these are the certain advantages when we are applying the advanced process control strategy in our process if we are not able to control our process with the help of traditional controllers like pid controller is a basic most traditional controller but if we are not able if the behavior of process is distributed stochastic non linear or time varying we need to overcome or we need to reach to certain types of advanced control strategy for those we need to follow this steps so there are various types of advanced control strategies these are available which we are going to study in this unit these are the first is cascade control second is predictive control third one is adaptive control inferential control statistic process control and the intelligent control strategy so this we are going to study in the next lecture thank you